Hi everybody, I'm iPad Expert Dave and I'm continuing my mission. I'm on a mission to help as many people as I possibly can to properly prepare their iOS devices for the new iOS and to safely install it. So I decided to put together this series of two helpful videos that teach you how to prepare your iDevice for updating to the new iOS and how to properly install the iOS update. That said, let's continue on with this video. So this is video two of the series of two videos I'll be sharing with you. In this video, I'll guide you step by step how to properly install Apple's iOS 10 update on your Apple mobile devices so you can find comfort knowing that you are doing it properly. But before we go any further, I would suggest that you select the video expansion tool in the bottom right hand corner of this player so you can view this video full screen. Also, to see it more clearly, select the gear icon in the bottom right hand corner and choose to view this video at 1080 or 720. Okay, now let's go learn how to install iOS 10. There are two ways to install iOS 10 and we'll take a look at one of those ways in this video. But the first way you can do it is to download iOS 10 to iTunes and install from your computer. Now the reason why you may want to do this route is it takes up less space on your device. In fact, the download sits on your computer and not on your device. But the second way, which is the most common way, is to do it over the air. Now, you do it over the air installation right from the device itself. So we're gonna take a look at that today. Now, I'll be showing you that over the air install method, but if you wanna learn more about how to download it to your computer, install it from iTunes, Take a look at this link that I'm sharing right there for you for help. But before we start the installation itself, please make sure you have properly prepared your iDevice. And if you haven't, go see video one, how to prepare your device for iOS 10. And of course, make sure that you back up your device. I can't stress that anymore. Back up your device before you install any iOS update. I want you to at least charge your device to at least 50% or more. And finally, go ahead and plug your device into a power source. All right, I think that's it. We're all set and ready to go. So let's go install iOS 10. Okay, I'm here on my iPad and I wanna share a couple tips with you before we get into the installation process. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to find your App Store app, all right? And I want you to go ahead and tap that app, and that's going to open up. And at the bottom of your screen, I want you to find the updates. Okay, so the updates tab. I want you to tap that, and if you see any pending updates, I want you to go ahead and run those updates. All right? You'll notice that I have 13 updates, and if I didn't want to sit there and tap individually each one of those update buttons to the right of each app, look in the upper left-hand corner where it says update all, Go ahead and tap that and that will update all your apps that have pending updates. Now once that's all done, I want you to go ahead and tap your home button and then the other, oh you'll actually see that my updates are actually running there in the upper left hand corner. Can you see that? Yeah, if you ever see something like that, that means your updates are in the process of, of installing. The next tip I want to share with you is please make sure you back up your device. All right. Now, in the video one that I shared preparing for installing iOS 10, I mentioned that there's two ways that you can back up your device. You can back it up to iCloud or you can back it up to your computer via iTunes. Now, if you need more help with doing that, go back and watch that video and I explain how to do that. Next, I want to make sure that you actually plug in your device to a power source before you do the installation. So find your white USB cable or power cable and plug that into a power source. And you'll notice in the upper right hand corner next to my battery icon, I've got a little lightning bolt. That means it's plugged in and it's charging right now. In fact, I have 86% battery life on there, you'll notice. But uh, please make sure that you have that plugged in. Now once your device is plugged in, I want you to double tap your home button. And that's gonna bring you into the multitask mode. And 
quite possibly you have several apps that are open on your device and you may not even know it. Right now I just have one app that's open, which is the App Store. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually quit those open apps that are running behind the scenes. And to do that, I want you to take your finger and swipe up right below the apps that are opening. So on that thumbnail, I want you to swipe up like so, and then just quickly swipe up and that will quit the apps. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to swipe up. There you go. And that's how you quit an app. Please do this for all open apps until you come to a screen like you see here where you just see your home screen. You can't quit your home screen environment. So that'll be the last thing that shows up on your screen. And I want you to go ahead and tap the home button and that brings you right back to the home screen. And finally, the last tip I want to share with you is I want you to power down your device, actually shut it down and we're going to restart or reboot it back up. Now to shut down your device, find the power button for your device, otherwise known as the sleep wake button. I want you to tap and hold that for about two, three seconds and you'll actually come up with a screen that looks like this. And you'll notice at the top it says slide to power off. Well, if you take your finger and you swipe from left to right and you keep going, it'll actually put you into shutdown mode and actually power down your device. Now, once this completely powers down, I want you to tap and hold that same power button and start it back up and get back to the home screen. So go ahead and do that right now. Okay, are you all ready to get to work? Now stick with me. I'll walk you step by step through the process here and we'll make sure that you're doing your iOS installation correctly. First, we need to go find that iOS update. And to do that, we need to go to our settings app. Now my settings app is located in my dock down below in the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and tap that. Find your settings app and tap it. And on the left hand side, I want you to find general and tap general. And when you tap general on the right hand side, I want you to look towards the top where it says software update, software update. And I want you to tap that and sure enough, there's iOS 10. Okay. Now at this point, we can go ahead and read uh, what Apple explains about the update. These are the top features of the update. And if you swipe to the bottom, you'll see that there's an option to learn more. If you tap learn more, that even breaks down all the different feature sets that it updates based on apps. There's quite a few and you can read through that. And when you're done, just tap the done button. And at this point, I think we're all set to go ahead and install. So shall we? All right. So go ahead and tap download and install. Now, Apple's asking you to put in your passcode for your device. It also may ask you if you have Touch ID to go ahead and press the Touch ID button. But most of the times it asks you for the passcode. So go ahead and type in your passcode. Okay, now Apple is asking us to agree to the terms and conditions. And if you'd like, you can go through there. You can click on those links here, and go through and read all the different terms and conditions. And then uh, when you're satisfied, go ahead and tap agree. And then one more acknowledgement. Do you really agree to this? Yes, we do, Apple. So we'll go ahead and tap agree. And the download update is requested. Now you can tell at the top of the screen, the gears are moving. And essentially right now, we're just doing a request to Apple's update servers. And I'm doing this the day of the release. So I'm assuming that their software update servers are very busy right now. So we should see the download process begin shortly. Now I wanna let you know there are a few stages for the install process that we're gonna be going through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this recording and I'm going to do some editing so I can pick you up at the next stage so you don't have to sit here and watch all this. I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, now we just got to the next stage and you might be chuckling if you're looking at my screen right now. Uh, we are in the downloading stage and if you look at the top it says it's going to complete the download in about five hours. So I got five hours remaining. Now I really don't think it's five hours but I know their software servers 
are very busy. Um, I'm assuming that's going to speed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stop the recording right now and I'll pick you up on the next stage. Okay. Yeah, I'm just finishing up the downloading stage. Um, according to the screen right here, we got about 43 seconds left. Now, once the download actually started, it, uh, it took approximately 17 minutes to go ahead and complete the download. Um, this time may vary based on when you actually do the download of the install. And again, I gotta let you know that uh, I'm doing the, the night of the release, so the software servers at Apple are just getting hammered right now. So we got about 22 seconds left, and then we're gonna move on to the next stage. So we'll pick you up right there. Okay, we just made it to the preparing update stage. And what's going on right now is the whole process of the downloading. It's downloaded to the device, but it's being prepared uh, to actually run the update. So that's what's going on right now. And you can see that status bar is moving. Uh, this should go pretty quick. And then there's one final stage that'll happen. And uh, I'll come back at that stage as well. Okay, they're preparing stage is done and now it's coming up on the screen saying do you want to install now or do you want it to have it go automatically and it looks like there's a verifying update stage and this will begin so it's gonna go I'm gonna pick you up on the flip side of this because I won't be able to record during the install process so hopefully everything's going well on your end and uh, we'll see you in just a little bit good luck all right well, what I had to do is, since I cannot record my screen while it's going through the install process, I just took a couple snapshots of it so you can see what it's going to look like. Now, the snapshot you see right here is the installation status bar. You'll get an idea on the progress of the install by watching that progress bar fill up. Now, that progress bar actually shows up twice. So it does an initial install and then a follow-up process. I wanted to point out also that between the two progress bars, I had a blank screen. And that blank screen appeared for approximately a minute, maybe a minute and 30 seconds before the next or the second uh, progress bar appeared. So after the first progress status bar completes, you see a blank screen. Don't worry about it. It's all part of the process. Another thing I wanted to point out is that you may or may not have the traditional setup screens after your device restarts. Now, when I updated my iPhone earlier in the day, I did have setup screens that I had to fill up. When I did the update with the iPad, I did not have those. So I'm not sure why I didn't have it on the iPad. But if those screens do appear for you, just go ahead and fill out the required information and that will finally complete the install process. Well, welcome to iOS 10. I hope your install process worked and you're at this screen with me. And at this point, you're probably saying, well, Dave, how do I know the update actually installed correctly? One thing you may have noticed at the lock screen, that whole lock screen is a little bit different than what we saw in iOS 9. But if you really truly wanna know if you're running iOS 10, we can go over to our settings app so mine's in the bottom left hand corner. I'm gonna tap that. We're gonna tap general. Let's tap software update and go ahead and tap that. And there you go. Your software is up to date. And if your screen shows that, congratulations, you did it. All right, I'm gonna tap my home button, get back to the home and that's it. All right, so do me one last big favor. If you liked what you learned today and it helped you out, do me a favor, right below this video, I want you to find that like button and go ahead and tap that. And that's just telling me that you did appreciate what I shared with you today and you actually learned something. Uh, if you wanna share this video with a friend and you think this video can help them out, go ahead and hit the share button. And finally, in that comment section down below there, go ahead. Let me know if you successfully installed iOS 10 and let me know how your experience went. If you got any questions or comments, I'll do my best to respond back to you in a timely manner. Well, that's a wrap for this video. And again, thanks a lot for joining me. I hope your experience went well 
And until next time, laugh, love, be happy, and get your mobile on.